present to you the Mary W. Jackson NASA Headquarters Building. We're here to pay tribute to a person who blazed trails but didn't boast. A high achiever who never sought attention or accolades. Instead, she used her success to help countless others to follow in her footsteps. She helped others find their path forward. She was always our hero. She was always our star. When I wake up in the morning, knowing the woman I love, honored, and respected all my life, has a statue at Hampton University that I can go visit, a community center in Hampton that my kids will be attending next year, a movie that I can put on the big screen at any time I want, a congressional gold medal, and now in Washington, D.C., NASA's headquarters, there's no words that can explain how I'm feeling right now. Because of engineers like Mary W. Jackson, America and the world was not only able to dream of landing among the stars, but to make that dream a reality. My hope is that when we are safely able to return to work in person, walking through the doors of the Mary W. Jackson NASA headquarters, each morning will inspire us all to push forward and continue to break down.